الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعم وإياك نستعين اهدنا سراط المستقيمة سراط الذين أنا أمت عليهم غير المكتوب عليهم ولا الدالين آمين ونزور من الناوني تبجل قصوبه لكن لا تتنبان لنا سري من الناوني تبجل وتنبان وقفوني ناوين يوم تنبان وجوه كتسوب لكن لن يعنى سري ناوين يوم دقمتو ناوين تمتسوب وتنبانوني ناوين جعت شنشي ولا بسم الله انت لا يقصينا الحمد لله كسور تري كنا سؤال أمبا من يجوع تم محمود بأوميا وكنا بوم كنا تم بنوني ملانا ونشيء تم بنو بسم الله يو لا ونشأت لهم ولا كتبنا على حمد الله وكان دفوني سأبقى كم ساعة ملانا ونقوله ونجلا كوري كنا نم ملانا وزمن جو كنا نم ما بيفوت تدل وقت سورنا وبن كونغرس مغلو كونجلي نسو كنا كوما نوصل نقولوني وسن سبعة ما نكتب سورنا موسيقى <تصفيق> فله الحسماء الحسنى ولا تجعل بالصلاة ولا تعسف به واكتبي بين سالك السبيل وكل على الحمد لله الذي لم يتعيزه ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في ملكه ولم يكن له ولي من السل وكبيره تكبيره كبر من قدر يدعي تتوندنا وعتامين أنت من يتني يموك ومناتي ناوتشوانسارا.ناوتشوانسارا.ومنتيسي.مكياماني.منشيتاجما.ناوتشومبا.ناوتشومبا.ونياسودا.جالبركا.ربنا.أتينا.في الدنيا.حسنة.وفي
ሶሮና ተኛለና በልገለና ኩባለና ጀማዓና we have na ngongolana and we also have na nyuna from the kokomba community your excellency we equally have all these chiefs they are imams from the various communities who have accompanied them to this program we also have a yap number na thanks for the correction we have a yap number na who is also in our midst your excellency these are some of our revered chiefs who have come to welcome you to the Karaga district thank you so much mofana to pai na nan albarkana banka te kebara ma tor ma to suriya ba pam to punyen ya kar gumti chele ka ba le chen gele da yi ka to tor ma pam to suriya ba so la kar tor mo bo bo ba dan basan na ma wo to do ma sa sa chi bisma ma le kar si ya dor go ma en chan ya kar na sani ko te san wo sun kwam an nan te de de toli marhabi de nini so no so kan sa sa marhabi ka fila kan de na ya nzi karnaidi de so de kar si ya dor go ma cha wo sani ka wo te san wo sun kwam en so de de mo de so te su me bo kan de ke ko kul fo fri do mini te yar le facebook so live ya le tal fi sa so ka kamera kam de de kar nan da an fana na program mo ma de so te su ya ma pam kar fo chi bisma ka te ba te ya ba te yo na ma ko san o se le ko so de de mo ka te di an fana shele de de re salam alaykum en kana no ya su to ra ka si dan pento as a secretary and special aid to karna nan toma abdullahi parmoch of karaka traditional area i am very privileged and honored to stand in his shoe to present his welcome address to his excellency the vice president of the republic of ghana this is welcome address by nabakum karna abdullahi Paramount Chief of Kanda Traditional Area of Dabo during a courtesy call on him by His Excellency Talhaji Dr. Mahmoud Bamia, Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Talhaji Dr. Mahmoud Bamia, the Honorable Regional Minister, Honorable Mohamed Sani Alassan Sahib. Honorable Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam Anta, Honorable Member of Parliament for Kaga Constituency and Minister of State at the Finance Ministry, distinguished members of the Vice President's entourage, members of the security apparatus, our revered Nanima, friends from the media, all protocols duly observed. It is a great pleasure for me to stand before you and to welcome all to this August occasion of the short cutting ceremony of Agenda 111 project in the Karaga district. I feel especially honored and privileged that His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, the Honorable Regional Minister, the Honorable Member of Parliament, and all other stakeholders have come to grace the occasion in spite of your busy schedules. Your Excellency. Indeed, I, on my own behalf, and on behalf of the good people of Karga and Dabo, wish to seize this singular honor to extend our heartfelt gratitude to His Excellency the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudankwa Akufwadu, His Excellency the Vice President, Lahaji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and to our hard-working member of parliament through whose efforts we are getting this unprecedented development ever given to the people of karka since our independence we are very grateful your excellency your excellency it is a well-known fact that karka district is one of the handicapped districts in the northern region 
with high levels of poverty rate and food insecurity among these people. However, Karaka is one of the most endowed districts with vast arable lands conducive for rainfall agriculture. The district is equally enriched with irrigation potentials and supportive vegetation suitable for rearing farm animals. This is indeed a contradiction beyond any measure. People lying and sleeping on wealth by living with hunger and endemic poverty at the flip side. This is unacceptable and must not be allowed to continue. The situation must be discontinued with your kind support and ensuring that we take advantage of the present special initiatives, especially that of agri, planting for food and job phase too, to help turn our fortunes around. Your Excellency, I and all my subjects are ready to release land to productive groups who are ready to go into farming and rearing of animals to enhance their livelihoods. I therefore stand here, Your Excellency, to ask for your kind support in the form of farm inputs, productive extensive services, and start-up package to engage those who are ready to improve on their livelihoods through agriculture. In the same vein, Your Excellency, I implore the people of Karga and East Envaros to take advantage of the special initiatives, especially that of planting for food and jobs phase two, to turn their fortunes. Somewhere mid of last month, Your Excellency, our respectable member of parliament on his usual tour of the constituency visited me with an update on the achievement he has chalked so far as a member of parliament for Calcutta constituency. His presentation demonstrated that he is on top of his work. What he enumerated included fiscal infrastructure and other social interventions. And I would like to implore the good people of this constituency to take care of this infrastructure very well in order for us to harvest the full benefits of the said interventions. Notwithstanding all these marvelous interventions and decisions, Your Excellency, the question of rampant power outage in Karaka Township, delay in ongoing rehabilitation works on the Karga Kushiru, Karga Tamale, Nabor Road are still a source of worry. Additionally, Your Excellency, the deplorable nature of the Karga Pichiro, Karga Piro, and Karga Nelego routes could serve as black spots on the white background of a marvelous achievement for the constituency. And I would therefore plead to behave like the proverbial political twist to ask for the consideration of these rules in your year of rules agenda, Your Excellency. Last but not the least, Your Excellency, is the inner town rules of Karga. This development deficit has a history, Your Excellency. For the entire period that Karga belonged to the exile Bushego Karga district, Karga's interest was sacrificed to uplift Bushego as a district capital. All developmental infrastructure were given to Gushegu, leading to Karga having only one road that could cut across town. The absence of proper road network affects economic and social activities. To a level that, if not improved, would send Signals that has the same signals that has the potential to eclipse all that has been achieved so far for the constituency. Your Excellency, on the question of engaging the energies of the people, I plead to mention that Karga has one farming season which lasts for only six months. The other six months of the year after harvest is used on sitting idle and sometimes engaged in cars playing, Pluto and Duff playing, who could have been used productively on fish farming and dry season gardening if duck house and fish ponds were constructed. I therefore admonish the district assembly to consider this venture as a poverty elevation intervention for the people of Karga to bring down poverty drastically. 
Before I conclude, Your Excellency, I would like to especially thank His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, or the President of the Republic of Ghana, Sore, Nana Adetanku Abuf Ado, and the NPP government for introducing Agenda 111 project and making Kara a beneficiary of the project. I would also like to thank Your Excellency, the Vice President, for this occasion and for the support given to the people of Karaka so far. This is indeed unprecedented. In addition, my heartfelt thanks goes to our Honorable Regional Minister for making time to be part of this program, despite your heavy schedule. To our working Honorable Member of Parliament, Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam Anta, I say thank you for your good works, and to all chiefs, elders, imams, pastors, and participants gathered here, I say a big thank you for making this program a successful one. Thank you all, and may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. On this note, Nabato Kerna wants to add a word. I requested that I do the summary briefly. Ah, here we have the nose of some time. Mamma <laughs> And the Shabza and Lang, Captain of Kanama, Poko Kalmo. Abuchi, Kapui, Bobas will have a Sabrova. Kayane, then Kanashama, Uncle and Zanzak, and Sperantia, the Aukas, Yeni, Kafila Chituni, the Zoka Juntamo. Now, then I have some pump, Anzanzo, Antoni. Nay, I don't remember Habu, Kabakana to Santam Pole, Agenda one one one. Pam, Traditionally, people are Zani. Now, I know so clearly. Cup and President Nana Adoko Akufadu, Mpai, Tengban Zulana, daughter Mahmoud Baumia, Zulampa, daughter Mahmoud Baumia, Cup I, the MP Umpam Kakimo, Domene Anna Yuchi, now part of the Za, the Umpamma, Katiti Ashtisha Moma, Kanya Tijin Turma, Pamma Puni, Kashit Matapana, Apal Apal. Kaparasoka. Carapulsigne, <laughs> President Ado at Dunko Akufado, or Yenaka Bonnet, special initiatives. Ka Quanti, Kobe to a bear pony, Nebongula Wumsa, a bear pony. And so, or Yabutin and Perpalama, the Bazula Yer Boma, so something come at it in two more anima, at the Quantin Tre, Capon Song, and Quangus could be. At Mulla, you and a pony, Tipule, Vababu, Chira, your ma, at a non-pop parlor. Quand il est venu dans ma nuit, quand
Ludo, Tentor Wale, Nicotin Fiat Campani. To, Ninian Pambo Puna, Hankal Puni, Agriculture for Puparandania, a Pansiani, Biri Pamma, who didn't need me at Mohammed Kabi, Publisher Adam Wombs of Zam, Kalakatan Irrigation PP, the Uncorrige Vare, no Kobu Wuni, yes, Wuni Yelam Pagan, Pupar Mabukushi Wale, Uncorrige Verma, Karitara Fana. Ka Malam Parino Ata, eh, Kerbeton Funo, Palacani, to the Mipia Yet of Kurle, Tito Tieni, Kerbe Bushan Dalia District, to Gushamin Nabituni. So go and see Rakusan Sonsuna, the Pandla Bushadi and Char Bushanini, to so many to present the Kamazo as a district, or in your county to Banzola, or you your Tonfuno Parama, the Palacani, Pelazas and Kamakunya and Katakari. Planque à Alhamdulillah, Bofana, <laughs> The vice president, ma Ankara, the two years after Zambia won the drama. To the new vice president, Zambia Ali Kane, we bang bang Zanjani, chairman Kane, the new leader in the ham. Kawo yina lo shelma, karo tomura ne kadamo. We did deshi ne kadamo mo. The vice president deshi man, the world ne. It is really possible. La la ne lo ma, we jela mo yina Ashanti region. Kala ne Ashanti zasa ugoro chairman. This one come from Brazilia. Ne ati pa ene tono hu kaita bambi yele ne bunsele ukwara demana kama presiba nali bunsele dare kama na chile kati zama ni vuka ni kama uwojudomo mwenye shaman wutumi. Lala kati mali tutu nwa na demba. Yeah, morning to the one our regional minister, Honorable Mbembe. I just want to go to Honorable the man of God. Don't know, no young boy. Regional minister, no young boy. Just want to go to the man of God. Don't know the man. Shall I get the man who wants to be the man? regional minister, the man of God. When you are the issue of money, morning day, MP to the Prime Minister. Tony, Tama, Nabi Ponga, Pasha, Lena Hankali, 
Mwenye ya tuwa kare mnekasi Mbiyo ya tuwa kanda mde mte Mbiyo ya mde paite chile kabla Semina hupa Otumdilatu otuma Chile katila mpo Niza mti Ajia Abibata Sani Maslow CEO Kalama Kambani tinega Ande tumai kulu tumda Tukuru mbore tumai danshe Kola la nangwa Sumbona Tuna mpote mbe yuali Niza mti Honabu Tampuli Wengela Mbiyo ya tishi mbukuni Mbiyo ya tepaya Kwa mna mna mba kana
executives. We also have our regional executives here. La Bakra Karma, Nathanan Mazaha, Bakara, the Dal Fanama, the Lamama, Bakara K, Madam Nimanama, Mazaha Lana K, Nebetina, I ship to all the Yampuja to my shop. Uporia, the Porus song, Assalamu alaikum, Warahmatullah, Taala, Babaraka to who? So, Yala, so song of Sile, Lama, Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Bamia, Zubo Kandawana Pala, Butambala, Onkara, Karga District. The so the Yala so Pierre. Tema kanya sukeleti ibaza netemba zola pa oto kana karga puta lalau netemba kaman karga tibo arbesha kamza hapa mna tumari onyala ni boso oni oni tete lala berma dama waza abe karga pone nzo ko kana karga ndam iyi nzo ko la kara no tete tete amfa na bene nzo mwana sari zaha. Zashihani, Mpovye Yela, Netepaya, Nante Sugu, Omino Kiamma, President Akufwado, Netepaya, Ne Amfani Shele, Benneng, Zale Karika Pune, Ne Karika Tintban Sezaha, Kata Zahadjo, Ne Amfani, Netepaya. Your Excellency, Under the government of President Akufwado, And yourself, Karika, has received his fair share of national development. We've gotten so much within a short space of time from the government of the new patriotic party. I cannot count all of them. I'll just mention a few signature projects. In terms of education infrastructure, Karga has one senior high school, which is here in Karga. And because of the free senior high school program of your government, not every candidate is able to get placement in the school. Through your support, we have built a new senior high school in Pishugu, in the Karga constituency. We are currently completing the dormitory block for the school. Both the classrooms and the dormitory block are funded by Ghana Gas. Number two, we've also built a new technical institute in Nyong, in the Karga constituency. Your Excellency, these facilities are being funded by GNPC and Talo Ghana. Your Excellency, in terms of electricity coverage, over the last three years, your government has extended electricity to 78 towns and villages. Because of this, Karaga has achieved universal access to electricity. Universal access to electricity is 90% and above. And as I speak, Excellency, Karaga has achieved 99.9% .9 electricity coverage. We are left with three small communities. Work is ongoing in these communities. And soon, we will announce 100% coverage of electricity in Karga. Your Excellency, your government has also provided good drinking water to the people of Karga. Over the last two years, we have provided 100 more holes across the constituency, with 30 of them mechanized. We are preparing next month to begin another round of 
boreholes, drilling of boreholes. Together, another hundred boreholes that will be drilled to provide good drinking water to the people of Karaga. However, Your Excellency, Karaga water remains a big problem. The Karaga town water remains a big problem. The boreholes are not able to solve our water problems in Karaga town, the constituency capital because we are not able to find water anywhere we drill. And therefore, I'd like to appeal to you to consider supporting Karga with an urban water supply system in order for us to address the age-long water problems faced by the people of Karga town. Your Excellency, the year of roads did not leave out Karaga. We've benefited in terms of road infrastructure as well. 32 kilometers of feeder roads have been completed. Among this, we also had six box culverts, the big bridges, as well as 42 small bridges. All of them have been completed, Excellency. And our people are enjoying the benefits of these roads. Particularly, communities that are benefited include Kupali, Basablo, Monkula, Bintuli, Saklo, Baglo, So, Yingari, Nyanso, Shebo, and Nyanpalo. All the roads linking these communities have been completed, Your Excellency. And our people are very grateful for this. We are farming communities. And therefore, access to markets is so critical. And that is what your government is doing for the people of Karga. Your Excellency, we also have about 100 kilometers of road projects which are currently ongoing. And I can assure you that the contractors are doing well, and soon we will be completing those projects. However, as Nabakyam Karga Karna has said, the road from Nantong to Karga to Kushabu is a very critical road for us, linking all these three constituencies to our regional capital, Tamar. This road has come to a standstill because over the last six years, what we are seeing is what we are seeing. We haven't seen progress beyond this. As a result of this, your party the new patriotic party risk suffering from the anger of the people because this critical road straddles three MPP seats. Nantong is held by MPP, Karaga is held by MPP, Ushiago is held by MPP. And this road is so dear to our hearts. And therefore, we are seeking your intervention to ensure that the contractor completes these projects as soon as possible. Your Excellency, the people of Karga have asked me to also appeal to you to ensure that the contract for the Nantong Karga Bushagu Road is varied to include Karga Town Roads so that all the town roads of Karga are tied for the benefit of the people of Karga. Your Excellency, Karga is also a beneficiary of SOCO and SII projects, through which many projects, social and economic infrastructure projects, will be done. This morning, you launch the SOCO projects in Yendi. And we are very happy that Karga is part of the districts benefiting from these projects because we know that they will go a long way to alleviate the suffering of the people of Karga. And once again, Excellency, you are here today to give us another gigantic project, another elephantic project, a big project, the biggest project ever seen in the history of Karga. And that is the Karga Agenda 111 Hospital Project. Our people 
as you can see, are very happy about this project. And this is why we have so many of our chiefs who are here to witness the sword cutting for this project. We have so many of our imams who are here. We have so many of our people coming from as far as what we call the overseas area, the Konkomba communities, all over Gaga, the people are here to share this joy with you and the MPP government. That they've delivered this seat to the MPP, and as I go around, I am convinced that this seat will be retained by the MPP with a larger margin. For the people of Karga, let me close my address by telling you a secret, the secret behind this Agenda 1-1 project. It's not by accident. The government started these projects, I think, before 2020. Karga was excluded. Karga was not a part of the, the, the district to benefit from Agenda 111. But you selected me an MP for Karga, and you sent me to go and lobby and push for Karga to also get Agenda 111 hospital. I believe I have not failed you. I have not disappointed you. But the gratitude, the gratitude for this hospital should not come to me. It goes to His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Because once I went for a meeting on Agenda 111 projects, and the Vice President was the chairman of this meeting. Once the meeting was ending, then I said, His Excellency, I'm being asked to ensure that money is released for payment to contractors who are doing Agenda 11 hospital projects across the country. Yet, my district is not benefiting. As soon as I said that, there is a saying, that when your mother is in the funeral home, you won't get hungry. Will you? Will you get hungry? As soon as I said that, His Excellency the Vice President said, but how? That cannot be possible. Karga must benefit. Karga must get Agenda 111 hospital project. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason we are going to have Agenda 111 hospital project in Karga. And so you will notice that across the country, most of the projects are above 70% completion. Some are above 50% completion. If we are now starting that of Karga today, you must know that there is some power behind it. And that power behind it is His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. So when we tell you that this is the man who can deliver us, the development we all need. We are not lying to you. We are not deceiving you. He's done this as Vice President. When this man becomes the President of our country, you can imagine what we will get, not just in Canada, not in Kumungu, not in Bushabu, not in Savurugu, not in Nantua, but the entire Northern region, the entire Ghana, the entire Republic of our country. You can imagine what we will get from him. So, Your Excellency, we thank you. We thank your government, President Akufado, who is your boss, and we thank you, you are also our boss. We thank you for this gift of hope, for this gift of life. We thank you so much. Now, I have the pleasure to introduce I wanted to introduce His Excellency, but I've, I've been told I, I'm not the one to do it. So, so let me end my speech by saying two things. What is happening to us about the hospital shows two things. Number one, you must have somebody who can fight for you at the right place at the right time. 
you must have that person. Somebody who can fight for you at the right place at the right time. Number two, it also shows us that you must be at the table. You must be at the table where resources are allocated to parts of our country. These two things are important. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move forward, I'm over upon you. We would like to appreciate are moving too much. No, Zoom. And acknowledge the presence of Hashia Fatahia Abdul Aziz, office of the president. She's here with us. Let's appreciate her. Chenekatan Lopoto. Dr. Mike, you. Also in our midst, ladies and gentlemen, we have Honorable John Kuma, MP for Ejisu, Deputy Minister of Finance. We have Honorable Thomas Boba, MP for Tatale, and Deputy Minister for Rules. He's here with us. Thank you very much. God bless you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time for us to invite the leader's leader. It's about time for us to invite the incoming flag bearer, the incoming president for the Republic of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, the dependent dependent, the Tumalena, the original digital man, the hope for Africa, Ghana, and beyond. With the biggest round of applause, let's welcome His Excellency, Dr. Mahatmatu. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here, Karuna, regional minister, ministers of state, members of parliament especially our host, Member of Parliament, Honorable Mohamed Amin Hunter, M MP for Karga, our MMDCs, CEOs, Deputy CEOs, our Chiefs, Jamaa, I greet everyone, the project team, Salamu Alaikum, Warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is a very, very important day. And I am very honored and very privileged to be in Karga today to partake in the sword cutting for Agenda 111 Hospital in Karga. As you all know, the Agenda 111 project is a project that has been launched by the Nanan Dodankwa Kufuado government to make sure all districts in Ghana have access to modern district hospitals. And this is why the Agenda 111 was launched. I am personally very committed to this Agenda 111 project because I thought about it for a long time. If you look at Ghana, for almost 65 years after independence, we had just about half of our districts with district hospitals. And so I came up with this thinking that it was time because if we followed the pace at which 
we were building district hospitals. It will take us another 50 years to cover the whole of Ghana. So I went to the president and I suggested that we should embark on a bold project to give every district that does not have a district hospital a district hospital. President listened to me and said, is this possible? I said, yes, it is possible. We can do a district hospital in every district. We then started having the meetings to see how feasible this was. We found the funding for the project and as they say, the rest is history. We are building 103 district hospitals, seven regional hospitals, two psychiatric hospitals. And this brings it to 111. What is clear is that Agenda 111 is the biggest health infrastructure project we have had in Ghana since independence. Since independence, we've not had a bigger push to make health infrastructure accessible to all Ghanaians. It is a bold initiative. I know that by next year, the majority of these hospitals would have been completed. And that is very, very remarkable. However, as the Honorable MP Falkarga has said, when we first put together Agenda 111, Karga was not a part. I think it was an omission. So, one day, as he has narrated, we were having a meeting on Agenda 111, and at the end of the meeting, he came to me to say, you know, Karga doesn't have Agenda 111 hospital. I, I was shocked. I said, no, this cannot be. Karga must be included in Agenda 111. So we told the president that we needed to vary what we had done and add Karga. Thankfully, His Excellency President Nana Adodankwa Akufuado agreed to add Karga. So even though we are talking about Agenda 111, Technically, Karaka has made it Agenda 112. <laughs> it is no longer 111, technically. We have Agenda 112 because of Karaka. I want to say that your MP, Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam Anta, is a fan. Hello? Yes. I'd like to see the MP for Karga, my brother, Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam Anta, is a fantastic MP. He's one of the most hardworking MPs that we have. And he's doing an excellent job as a Minister of State at the Ministry of Finance. I'm very proud of him, and I ask you to continue to give him the confidence and the support. Uh, as he said, Amangumbe Kuyilene, Akukon Kuyile Sam. So, this is what he's able to do for Karga. And I can say, without any fear of contradiction that 
Gargan has seen more development under the MPP government of Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu than under any government in the history of the Republic of Ghana. The data is clear. We can show what we have done. Other governments can also show what they have done. No government will be able to match what we have done. But we have not finished. There is still more to do, especially on our roads, uh, especially the Karga and Tom Kushavu road that we are very concerned about. But Agenda 111 is about inclusion. We don't want to leave anybody out of access to health in this country. It is the same thinking that went behind the free senior high school education policy because we don't want to leave anybody behind in access to education. And so if you have Agenda 111, you have the health side covered. If you have free senior high school and free technical and vocational education training, then you have the education side covered. And then we have included everybody and it will help us in the development of our nation. And so their major philosophical um, thinking behind what we are doing is to make sure we include everybody, especially the poor and the vulnerable. And this is why, why we are doing Agenda 111 in the country as well as free SHS. I want to take this occasion to thank all of you for the support and for being here. I am so happy that finally Karga has got Agenda 111. I thank you all. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.